Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we're going to start now. Uh, thank you for uh, coming. And of course, I've just by the sheer count of everything I can tell, I've more than quadrupled the amount of uh, people that came to my last session last year. So that, that's already a big start. And uh, as you know, my uh, in hashtag introduction, I, I, I have to introduce myself. My name is uh, Michael Fior. I'm a uh, graduate of Penn State University from my uh, class of two. And right after that, I, I was working in commercial radio uh, around the State College area. And around that same time, uh, I began uh, as a blogger uh, writing uh, hockey because I wanted to uh, continue my uh, journalism career and uh, do it on like a freelance basis. So uh, I've been doing that now today. Uh, this year, it will be my uh, tenth year uh, doing that. So I've got. Uh, plenty of uh, knowledge and experience as far as uh, uh, running uh, blogs and uh, stuff like that. And of course, it, I, I call it a pioneering hockey blog because it was the uh, first hockey blog and it's the longest running uh, for 10 years, as I said. Because uh, And then also, in the, I, I, I'm pretty much the only one that uh, incorporates the video, audio, and uh, text uh, format than any of the other uh, competition there. And uh, and I might have alluded to before, uh, I did uh, give a session uh, uh, last year at uh, Pontcap Pittsburgh 6, uh, where it was uh, down in a uh, little more of a uh, uh, basement there. That's, that's the picture, uh, screen capture of me uh, down there. So uh, it's still up on YouTube. Uh, so uh, if any of you guys are still new to the uh, Podcap experience, if this is your first Podcap experience, don't worry. You can always go to uh, uh, Podcap uh, Pittsburgh's. Uh, YouTube website, and you can find all the sessions that uh, uh, we made last year up on their YouTube channel. And uh, uh, last year I talked about the, uh, uh, I think as I was saying, I, I integrated the uh, video aspect into my, my uh, text my blog, is that uh, where I like to make some YouTube videos where, well basically it's only my own voice, so I have to, well, talk myself. So I, I, I made up another character. Uh, where I'm, I'm just uh, going back and forth like that, and, and that was uh, more or less the uh, technique of uh, doing, you know, shooting the uh, footage. Like that. So uh, that's it. Uh, hashtag uh, shameless promotion. So uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, hashtags and uh, how to uh, use them properly. And of course, there's uh, with uh, new and uh, innovation with. Uh, uh, hashtagging and uh, Twitter and using it, and uh, the amount of volume that tweets go out, a lot of people do uh, misuse hashtags. So, hashtags, hashtags. Uh, uh, and this is where I, I looked it up because I wanted to explain it. So, again, it's uh, purest form, I got uh, dictionary.com, and they say uh, that hashtag is a word or phrase preceded by a, a hashtag mark which is uh, this pound sign, like if those you know, children of the 80s, like that, you, you know, that's, that's a really, you know, it's a pound sign. Uh, it's you know, used within a message to identify a keyword or topic of interest to facilitate a uh, search for it. Now, of course, uh, like as I said, the, uh, the amount of volume of uh, tweets that go out daily, minute by minute, it gets so overwhelming, you just want to maybe kind of close down that search for it. And uh, by hashtagging uh, and uh, grouping it together with a certain common subject, you can now uh, look amongst like maybe 10 or 15 tweets about a certain subject, like hashtags, for example. Uh, and all that's done, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to have it in the slide itself like that, but we, when you're, uh, if you want to learn how to uh, hashtag something and make it uh, searchable so that uh, everyone else can see your tweet, uh, it's um, all you have to do is uh, uh, I type the pound sign and then the uh, word or phrase with no spaces in it, and uh, that will uh, show up as a hyperlink in your uh, either in your browser or if you're doing it from your uh, smartphone. Then you can kind of, uh, click on that and then see who else is using that and talking about that same thing. Now, uh, there are a lot of uh, 
uh, benefits to uh, working and playing around with uh, hash. I, I, I find it a lot of fun uh, experimenting more and more uh, with it so that uh, I can, can become even more social and more, and, so, and more reach a more uh, bigger audience than you know, what I already have. So uh, there's also you know, some great, uh, good, responsible users. Uh, and I've listed this on here, and maybe uh, uh, those of you uh, in the audience, or uh, maybe those of you uh, watching online, uh, could uh, you know, let us know uh, some, maybe if there's anything else I missed. Uh, we got uh, hashtag working within the system. Uh, and the top uh, reason I listed was uh, when a uh, Twitter user supplements information with helpful phrases for the group discussion under one commonality. Now, I'm, a, I, let's say, a hockey blogger, so when I find out what I, everything, I, what people are talking about hockey, then I, I just I hashtag the word hockey, and, uh, I, and that's going to show me every, everyone else else's uh, tweets about that, and then uh, they can join in the conversation. Now, uh, I don't have uh, too big of a following well, compared to some other people like that are more Twitter famous, as I would call. Uh, I've uh, been able to successfully gain some more followers just by using uh, random hashtags. Now, I'm going to get, I, of course, uh, cover some of the uh, uh, you know, people that are uh, kind of misusing hashtags. But, uh, uh, I found if you want to build an audience for, uh, for your uh, Twitter, not only uh, when you send out a, a tweet with a hashtag on it, everyone else could uh, look through this uh, stream. And um, I have a good example is that uh, uh, Twitter fall, if you kind of, before, hopefully you saw that before you came in the uh, door to the auditorium today, is that uh, you see uh, everybody else's accounts that have been uh, tweeting out. Hopefully that uh, brought you here, because I've been uh, tweeting about uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh 7 uh, uh, for uh, a good uh, uh, 24 hours now, and hopefully uh, some of you, uh, because of that, uh, came in here. And uh, I picked up about a, a good handful more of uh, Twitter subscribers just by doing that. And uh, so, you know, I, there's also a, uh, well, it's on the less serious side, like I, I know a lot of you guys are uh, here for like nonprofit organizations and what, you know, where, maybe where you are for a you nonprofit know, organization, you want to uh, get in on a conversation. Uh, there's uh, uh, Twitter trends that are sort of, I would call like a Twitter game, so to speak, like that, that uh, you can, uh, create just about any. I'll show you some examples and another a couple of uh, screen captures that I put up on the uh, next slide over. But uh, I uh, entered in a, a couple of uh, just you know random hashtags that uh, said like uh, uh, change a uh, movie title with the word car, and all those people that uh, saw all those uh, everybody that was playing along with that game. You know, I, so, and I, I got about three more subscribers to that. So, um, you also want to use uh, the hashtag when it becomes a meme. Everybody probably are familiar with uh, hashtags, in, in, especially the ones that are overused, like hashtag WTF and uh, hashtag LOL and stuff like that. And uh, you're including yourself in that whole kind of stream of people, and that, uh, therefore in increasing your uh, personal exposure to potentially more subscribers to that. And the, uh, the last reason that I, I can think of uh, uh, is that uh, I, in my uh, personal discussions to uh, some of my uh, friends and stuff like that, they uh, like to uh, hashtag it when it is only relevant to, the, uh, to them. Like It's like an inside joke. Like uh, there's a uh, gentleman, I talked to in Toronto, he's an uh, actor there. Now, one of his fans, I, I wrote him a note, like I hashtag the word pecans. Of course, nobody knows what the, that's only relevant to them, but it's still a hashtag and it's still uh, you know, relevant to the conversation. So 
Right, yeah, this is sort of you know, like an inside joke. So, uh, let me slide here. Okay, so now this is, I captured this last night, and I, I'm sorry, I, I look again. No, this was actually, I uh, captured uh, the morning of uh, Quadcap Pittsburgh 7. This is a uh, screen capture that I just you know, cut down, and I showed you that uh, our uh, uh, hashtag that we've been doing all this weekend has carried momentum even from the very beginning. That uh, all the most used terms uh, that morning showed up behind that we, all the users in the Pittsburgh area were talking about these different items. And you can see the, uh, the hashtags on there. And of course, this is our here PC behind uh, uh, PGH7 there. So. You guys can uh, think of anything else that uh, might uh, be a, a good use of hashtags? What's the life of a hashtag? Uh, the life of a hashtag is usually uh, uh, based upon the uh, software or the kind of company that's uh, your, uh, the company platform you're using it on. Uh, whether uh, this this came from uh, Twitter, uh, Google uses their own analytics. And stuff like that, and so it might be a little bit different as far as it because when they uh, calculate things, that's I'm going to get, I get into a misconception about having a hashtag promoted in uh, the, uh, different cities or worldwide and stuff like that. They uh, count uh, a lot of people believe that I uh, we I go into the uh, things that I uh, people are uh, misusing and maybe. Uh, you know, don't really uh, quite understand about uh, how to get their uh, hashtag promoted, uh, as we uh, saw there within the uh, Pittsburgh uh, section. Um, of course, you can set that on your, uh, if you're working through a laptop browser and stuff like that, you can see if the uh, trend's broken down, uh, not only worldwide, or in our country, or in uh, different uh, major metropolitan cities. Like uh, they, uh, they uh, run uh, all those uh, algorithms and stuff like that. that uh, uh, a lot of people believe that just the sheer volume of people using that word or key phrase will uh, uh, work. And if you just get like two or three people up there uh, and just randomly standing up with maybe you know, 30 tweets in about a minute and a half, then eventually it'll show up there. No, that doesn't work like that. Uh, speaking as far as uh, Twitter is concerned, they actually uh, do an algorithm where you ha it has to be over a length of time, and uh, depending on the uh, variety of accounts using that uh, uh, term, so can't you be just uh, two or three uh, people uh, talking you know, blasting out there uh, so quickly? Uh, and, and then uh, they kind of uh, do a little uh, math, and then that's what uh, they determine with uh, how many topics are being discussed that day or uh, that hour. And uh, um, all right, so moving on to like more of the uh, misconceptions and the uh, uh, people that are, you know, like sort of, you know, it's not working quite right for them. Um, and then uh, some of them are even uh, practically abusing it. Because when I'm uh, just uh, getting into uh, a Twitter user on uh, uh, checking it on a day-to-day uh, -day basis, like that, I see so many people making mistakes. Uh, I see a lot of people now are using are like using as like a mocking uh, joke to like uh, when uh, you can turn a hashtag into a you know, one long uh, wrong on sentence now like uh, that, that pretty much takes up the whole entire 140 characters like that. and then uh, in my opinion I, I'd like to see that uh, trend stop. Uh, you probably some of you you know, I hear some of you guys uh, talking in the audience that then you need probably come across uh, some of those, you know, people that, uh, you know, think they're, uh, they're, they're being funny like that, but it's just like, after a while, it becomes an annoyance. And then uh, another time, I, when I just uh, earlier explained how to make a hashtag on your tw on Twitter feed, is that um, uh, Twitter, uh, specifically, uh, can't recognize any uh, non-letter uh, character uh, components to their uh, hashtag. So then, if you were to you know, like, uh, uh, naturally put a space in between 
you know, if you make it like a, a Twitter hashtag, you know, word, say, you know, one on one, if you put, yeah, the, the hashtag, uh, let see, my, for example, my uh, title up there, uh, hashtag oh so very wrong, that wouldn't quite work because then it's got spaces in between there and it only accepts uh, every uh, character space. So then it'll just, just hashtag O right there, but I would have uh, text uh, that right there. And, uh, well, and then uh, if some people, and I'm also a fan of a, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to uh, give them a free publicity, but excuse me, uh, I want to uh, tweet out the name of a uh, you know, place that I, I shopped at or something like that, and it has an apostrophe S in it. The apostrophe S doesn't get recognized in, in the hashtag tweet, so uh, when you're sending out uh, things like you want to exclude the uh, underscores, the apostrophes, and the uh, different uh, non-lettered uh, characters, and it just breaks it up. And then when you put it up, and when you go back to check it, okay, who else is talking about you know this certain uh, store brand? It's not going to give you the same results as. Uh, you know, what you intended because it's only that certain uh, couple of letters. Uh, another thing is uh, what I consider uh, a little bit abusive is uh, sort of the uh, you know the mocking, uh, like I said, you know the community people that uh, and just throw you know random words. I, of course, I'm guilty of this. Of course, I don't, I don't do that all that often. But um, hashtag hypocrite. <laughs> but uh, you know when people just you know I want to hashtag things that are uh, completely random and doesn't have anything related to that, and then I guess they just want to uh, do whatever. And then uh, last thing I haven't seen uh, too much of it lately in the past couple of months. But then when you're hashtagging yeah offensive words and especially uh, four letter words and stuff like that, it's that's really a no that moment, uh, in my opinion. And uh, it, uh, it's also another way that uh, you know people that uh, have this uh, type of technology and want to use it properly, uh, it really shouldn't be, uh, uh, should be at least mostly uh, careful about uh, using profanity as a hashtag. And uh, is, is there anything else I, I maybe missed or want to uh, uh, cover? Yes, sir. I often see uh, I often see a hashtag called P2 or P21. Do you know what that means? Um, I think P2 is progressive. Oh, progressive. I think I'm easy. Okay. I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. We get, <laughs> if I can't answer, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, someone else in the audience uh, was able to do that. So, um, anyone else? Okay, then uh, we'll move on uh, to the, uh, uh, oh yeah, another thing too, I'm sorry, I didn't, well, I'm getting ahead of myself, is the uh, uh, case study example of the uh, people that are uh, misusing, I uh, think is the, you know, the pranksters and the trolls and uh, just about everyone else. Uh, uh, and this was screen captured uh, last night that uh, I was uh, uh, surprised uh, that uh, any of you guys know that uh, a, uh, a fairly young pop star apparently died last night. Yeah. Well, of course, that was uh, a wrong because apparently, uh, I don't want to uh, date this podcast, but as of uh, last night, uh, uh, the tr uh, trending topic in uh, Pittsburgh last night was R.I.P. Kesha. So, uh, and then uh, people start, when people saw this on uh, last night, uh, that uh, uh, the a uh, trending topic, uh, R.I.P. Kesha, was uh, so overused last night that uh, people actually uh, believe that she died. And I'm uh, uh, reading through some of the other, uh, this is a uh, sample of the uh, uh, tweets, and apparently like people were starting to you know, send their condolences and stuff like that, and uh, I think other people were uh, starting to suggest that, okay, R.I.P. means actually really important person. So, uh, yeah, and then so, uh, this is, of course, a uh, fake account. I blocked it just you know, for their own privacy, and of course, they probably uh, 
I troll them as I block them out. I'm, I'm reading them from the screen. It says, uh, today, October 27th, we lost a true legend, Queen of Pop, Kesha. I, 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 and then, of course, they use the hashtag Die Young. And then as I uh, looked at it a little further, it was uh, actually a bigger promotion for her uh, uh, latest single uh, called Die Young. And uh, within like seconds, I'm only going to see this first. Like uh, there was another 20 one. And then uh, that uh, was what bring up a larger point is that because uh, not all that nonsense was going on, people were actually seriously concerned. And hopefully, I think this was uh, touched on uh, uh, this morning uh, in the keynote speech about uh, people uh, misusing uh, uh, Twitter hashtags and uh, trending topics is that uh, please don't retweet something because uh, instantaneously you're contributing to the problem. Uh, uh, not, not only uh, did this uh, you know, just in characters, but uh, R.I.P. I catch it, I joking, it is in bad taste, but then they're using the same words which also uh, contributes to the uh, yeah, Twitter's uh, algorithm, like uh, perpetuating uh, this whole thing and keeping it there longer for more people to see. And the more people see it, the more people kind of tweet it out, and it's still you know, self-perpetuating. Uh, so it's basically, uh, just everyone just pranked uh, Twitter last night. So that's uh, another one of those uh, uh, hashtag you know, case studies. Hashtag, I'm going on a little too long for that. Uh, so, moving on to what trending topics are. Now, it, trending topics are the same uh, sort of thing, but it's not, uh, not be, uh, you don't see them with the little pound sign uh, in front of them. It's the same concept, but it's uh, more, uh, I, like a set of words that uh, doesn't really uh, have uh, have to do with anything with uh, uh, what people are talking about, so, you know, reading the news, what people are searching about, and uh, it's it all depends. I'm sorry, I, I kind of be a little bit uh, vague about that because well, uh, a different uh, Yahoo uses uh, trending topic and shows you like if you have a uh, personal Yahoo or Google Plus or any other social media, they usually have a little you know, block dedicated to okay. Yeah, you know, this is what people are current. You know, most of the people on our website are talking about, uh, and they all use uh, different methods to determine, you know, what's been uh, not talked about during that uh, cycle. So, uh, the trend topic is just a, a word or set of words that have been uh, collected by statistical algorithmic science, written by the uh, collector that features the most commonly used search terms and news headline aggregates. And I wrote that myself. So I couldn't, you know, the dictionary didn't come up with anything, so I had to write that myself. Hashtag, I'm a smart guy. Yeah. Hashtag, I'm also funny. <laughs> All right, so here's uh, just some more uh, screenshots of uh, just a sample of what I uh, gathered from last night. Uh, of course, uh, the, uh, most of the, and this is, I came from Yahoo, and uh, they have their uh, arrangement uh, done by, uh, 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 just uh, 10 topics, that, uh, and uh, uh, if you were to look that on your browser, you can click each uh, uh, name or uh, you know, topic, like, and it would take you to their uh, links page and show you, you know, why, exactly why it, uh, it's on there. Like, uh, if you, like uh, I clicked on, you know, presidential polls. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to uh, date this, uh, but um, uh, different things like. Um, you know, mental health. Like, I guess uh, there were, I clicked on that one for sure, and it just showed me a couple of articles that had been published within the past uh, six hours or so that apparently uh, everybody was you know, searching for and wanted to uh, read a little bit more uh, about on their site. So, uh, and uh, Google Plus is doing uh, something interesting that I, I, in my searches uh, around uh, sampling the other different social media uh, network sites is that they're actually showing. Uh, by their own uh, yeah, science, is how these uh, trending topics are uh, going. Like uh, that, uh, they're slowing down or speeding up. Like uh, this, uh, everybody's uh, looking forward to the upcoming holiday, so uh, their uh, displays like uh, that uh, more 
we have the volume of uh, this uh, hashtag there is uh, on the way up. And uh, there's that uh, hurricane name there. And, like, and that's, I guess, according to them, as of last night. Right? That this is only just a uh, screen capture uh, that I put up here on, on the slide. slide. And then, um, anybody else here use Tumblr? Like, uh, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, like, uh, uh, apparently, uh, that's a uh, trending uh, topic upward. Like, uh, so, um, I'm assuming, though, uh, uh, that this is a little dot, I guess, maybe that there's no change. That, uh, uh, I'm not sure, I'd be sure what, what that is. Maybe I should I click on and look at But there's uh, and an example of the different uh, displays of how uh, uh, these uh, uh, companies uh, spread their uh, you know, most uh, search terms and stuff like that. So, whoops, whoops. All right, so. Um, <coughs> Uh, that's pretty much uh, been my uh, presentation there. It's a little brief over. Uh, yeah. So, if you guys have any other kind of questions or anything, yeah. uh, I have certainly. Yeah. Um, can you do a search on Twitter? Like, you go down Google, where you can find two words that have mm -hmm. Different tricks to go uh, when you know, search, uh, using search terms like that is um, I, a lot of like uh, Yahoo and uh, Google Plus, like if they'll have uh, different tools. Like if you want to put in narrow down the search even more, you put the uh, uh, plus sign, uh, like, or if you want to uh, uh, put it in quotation, uh, put the name itself in quotation marks, that will uh, limit down your search. Okay, there are different uh, uh, techniques too. Uh, I think I, another one I think is um, if you put it in the uh, parentheses and minus, like if you want to exclude certain, like uh, exclude uh, minus rumors or something like that. So like that, that. Same rules that apply when you do Google search as far as those symbols minus don't get over. Yes. Yes. Okay. So just to you know, recap that, but I had a concern about uh, uh, limiting down a uh, number of uh, uh, search terms and. Things like and when you know, you put in a, a name and you're just not getting the same results as uh, I think like that I would recommend uh, putting in the, uh, the different uh, keys uh, to uh, limit down your search. I think there should be a, probably you know, plenty of uh, websites out there that explains it more detail than I can. Like uh, that, uh, like it goes like a you know, key. Like if you want, you know, like you want to talk about you know, apples and bananas, you want to put the uh, uh, plus sign in, in between that. That is the same on Twitter, right? Um, it does work. It works. It works. Yeah. Is there anything else? Yeah, yes, Miss. If, if the Twitter is going to look for words that are being uh, shared to go into the trending topics, mm -hmm. then why create the hashtag? Uh, because it's deli uh, it's deliberate. Uh, it's a signal to uh, yourself and to your subscribers that uh, this I, I'm starting. Like, especially if you're starting, you know, the thread itself. Like, uh, if you're you know, one, this is what I want you guys all to talk about, and what you uh, and, and follow this conversation uh, with uh, Twitter. Like, uh, then you know, put like a hashtag. Yeah, you know, thank you. And I'm like, hey, I'm. I'm yeah, thank everybody for kind of coming. Like, I, you, you want to, uh, you deliberately wanted to you know, create that grouping of uh, discussion between uh, Twitter accounts. Like, at, uh, whereas in uh, uh, you know, Twitter itself, it's like just you know, going uh, vaguely over. Like, at, and it's, I'm sorry. I hope that answered the question. Yeah, I, yeah, I have another question. Okay. Um, you said that if you create a hashtag, you can only do it for one word, because then that space makes 
Well, uh, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, you have to use no spaces. Like okay, it, it, it so all, I'll say, yeah, if you want to use multi, you know, a, you know, a phrase like uh, uh, more, like uh, Steelers hashtag more touchdowns, like uh, and it has to get M O R E, you know, touchdowns like with no space in between there, and that and that's you know, and you'll get more that specific. Uh, uh, but people hashtag. searching for that wouldn't be thinking to put it. Stealer, uh, no, it's not. Yeah, the more you, yeah, use, yeah, the more you know, privately, you're only going to get enough people, your subscribers, uh, you know, retweeting that, uh, that, and it's only going to have like a, you know, a small following. So then the trick would be to, to rephrase your topic into yeah. a wide Yeah, you want to make it, you know, more, uh, you know, broad or more general. A wide like, word hashtag. Yeah, like and that. Use some of your other yeah, uh, most, words for, the, for those other words, you could. Yeah. Uh, most successful hashtags uh, are like that. They're a little more uh, uh, you know, general. Like, and more, uh, the memes, like, and the more uh, memorable, like I was just kind of talking about, a hashtag LOL, LOL they kind of laugh out loud or something like that that can be reused and that are in the uh, you know, public domain. That, uh, so widely known among computer users. So, so if a person's searching for under topic or under hashtag in Twitter, mm -hmm. to, in order to come up in that search, then if you have something, I don't know, a little bit more specific, like um, phosphorus, let's just say. Okay. And when you do, you do that tag hospice, then it's more likely to come up than you talking about, I just wrote a book about hospice. And it might be more likely, or would it be equally likely to come up in a hospice search? And, and uh, that's where you, uh, you want, if you want to you know, promote a book or something like that, you said, uh, you want to uh, just uh, you know, plug, uh, just do a general plug, you know, okay, uh, for those of you in, in this, you know, a topic of uh, hospice, like uh, here's the kind of book I wrote, share the link, and then tag that with that same hospice, like uh, and everyone else that has been you know, keeping up and reading about that hashtag now sees your uh, tweet included uh, with that and knows that uh, you have a common interest with everyone else that has talked about uh, uh, hospice care uh, uh, yeah, days, weeks, you know, months in advance. Okay, how about hashtagging for your customers and not necessarily for your topic? So, for example, if you are a psychic that is a medium and wants to get more customers who want to talk to somebody who's recently deceased, you might do a hashtag funerals to find people who have just lost somebody or, I don't know, not necessarily a hashtag medium or a hashtag yeah, 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 you, you, would, no, you will, yeah, you you will find a, a, a bigger, you know, your customers would be, not necessarily what the topic is. You, you, know, you, may, you may find more people talking about uh, that than uh, you know, something more specific, more genre specific. And that, and that's okay, genre specific kind of things are you know, what I, I guess I glanced over earlier in my presentation that uh, maybe you just want to you know, have it like like the uh, gentleman I uh, spoke about his name is uh, uh, Robert uh, on uh, Toronto like uh, they just you know, want uh, like you know, have that running joke between uh, him and his uh, uh, fans in uh, North America and uh, how he did the one uh, commercial with pecans and it's like it and, and uh, that's just you know for them but uh, of course it might be you know, <laughs> other people might be uh, talking about something totally unrelated to that uh, uh, commercial he made but. Uh, that's that's how it, uh, yeah, the audience uh, works. Can you can you speak to um, promoting a hashtag to to your classroom if you are a teacher, like at a college level? Uh, yeah, you would have to tell them specifically, like uh, this is the uh, uh, hashtag that I either kind of created or started using, and I want everyone else. In on in on the discussion, 
uh, typing up exactly this you know, way, hashtag you know, funerals, or you know, hashtag pecans, like that. So then I think uh, that's what uh, uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh uh, 7 uh, did, uh, like that, that they uh, they want it for their official hashtag, and everyone included out there on the uh, uh, Twitter fall uh, that uh, uh, for uh, for them to uh, get it uh, up there on that screen, they had to uh, use it that way. So if you wanted uh, to you know, include everyone in the uh, in your classroom, then uh, you'd have to tell them first. Okay, uh, I did Twitter for the Pi Camp Seven, and I used uppercase letters because that one was in the. I printed, and, and then when I went on the board, I couldn't find mine. Uh, yes, yeah, Twitter, I, I found it that I have, not speaking for them, I, I just my, by my own uh, internet usage experience, uh, Twitter makes no uh, distinction between upper and lower case. So you, you, you can do it either way. Is there uh, anything else? Well, can you explain Twitterfall, why that was a useful product to use? Why did uh, you go with Twitter, that? Uh, okay, well, uh, Twitterfall uh, was a uh, collection of, uh, like I said, you know, the, the hashtag uh, uh, PCPGH7 that we're doing this year. And it was uh, displaying everyone's tweets that was using that hashtag. Everyone that put out a message and put that specific hashtag in their message which was uh, being published on the time. Uh, TV screen now, right outside this uh, place, and of course uh, everyone hopefully uh, watching on the internet themselves have been uh, using it uh, uh, during this discussion or uh, during the whole entire weekend. Uh, that uh, it, it sort of, it gives like a uh, live experience, a live moment to moment experience. It's uh, it's all about in my in my opinion, it's all about uh, you know the moment itself. Like well, I, you know. Just had this experience two uh, minutes ago. I'm going to talk about it, and you can see it scrolling through like, as uh, the, uh, everyone else is sending. You can see it uh, scrolling, and this is more, more just like uh, quick uh, journalism. This is uh, it's, that's what pretty much what I gather. It's what it's all about. Is that uh, if you just search for the hashtag with the with the name of the conference seven. Yes, that's what I was just talking about. Uh, yeah, uh, you can go. Uh, uh, so in other words, anybody can create a Twitter yeah, call. Yeah, uh, there's a, uh, yeah, there's a website. Is called yeah, Twitterfall.com. Oh. Thank you. Like that. That uh, uh, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in other words, anybody can create a Twitter call. Yeah, yeah. There's a website. It's called yeah, Twitterfall.com. Thank you. Like that. That I think they just kind of like cropped it, so it's just yeah, you can see just there. tweet. I think there's more to it, you know, the website than. So basically, that. it gathers those. Yeah, yes, it will do that for you, and then it shows you in real time. And what everybody's not talking about. Yeah. All right, if I go through a quick look here, see what else. Uh, what time is it? We have any more uh, time left? Uh, uh, but I, I, I do want. I, I have to end the uh, discussion here, but uh, I think I'll uh, at least. Uh, Say thank you to everyone here that attended. I, I certainly appreciate it. So, uh, I'll try and make it back for next year. I want to uh, thank uh, those who uh, organized this event and, uh, and placing me here on the big stage. Like that. This is this is cool. Actually, this is so cool. <laughs> and, uh, compared to you know, last year. So. Uh, thank you for coming. If you guys learned something, I hope I was able to do a better explain what uh, you know, hashtags and trends.